I'm talking with George Hernandez after the official training of Jason Robinson, who is preparing for the fight against uh, Krzysztof Wodalczyk. Uh, hello, George. Well, we're here. We're ready to fight. Wish the fight was today so we can get it over with and go home. Uh, this is something that uh, Jason's been looking forward to. I mean, fighting for the world title, especially the WBC crown, is the most prestigious belt of, of them all. And fighting here in Poland with uh, one of the greats, Diablo Wierzarski, uh, you know, it's a good pleasure. I mean, the Polish people have been very nice here. They've been treating us with a lot of respect. And, uh, you know, I want to thank Diablo for giving us the opportunity to fight for his belt. I know he doesn't want to relinquish it just yet, but, you know, anything can happen in uh, fight night. Uh, contrary to what the critics might say or believe, Jason is more than ready for this fight. You know, he's been preparing all his life for this one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is a kid's dream come true is to fight for that belt. Diablo has had the opportunity to enjoy it for a few, whatever, a year or whatever he's had it. Now it's somebody else's turn, you know. Hopefully we'll try to take it away from him. And that's what we're here to do. Jason is a southpaw and Diablo have, uh, haven't fought against uh, southpaw since uh, 2001, maybe, approximately. Uh, do you think uh, that it will be a big difficulty for Krzysztof? I don't think it's going to be any problem for Diablo. Diablo is a professional fighter. That's what he does. This, Diablo is going to come ready for Jason Robinson. I mean, him and his team has prepared probably many, many hours for Jason Robinson, and they've seen and studied tapes. I don't think for one minute that Diablo is not ready for the, or to step up to the plate. Diablo is a professional. He's a world champion. He's going to remain a world champion. You know, uh, you know, you can never take that away from him that he was a champion, but, you know, Hopefully, we'll be thrown him on uh, September 25th. That's what we came here to do. Uh, we're not taking anything lightly. Diablo, Diablo did not become world champion by totally de, totally dumb. You know, he's uh, he's a world champion because he fought some of the great fighters to get there, and that's you got to give him his due respect. He is the world champion. Were you surprised when you received uh, the offer from Poland? No, not really, because there was mention. You, you know, we were looking at Marco Huck. We were looking to. Well, I knew that when Jason came back, he's 35 years old. I knew that we had to work fast to try to get him a title shot because, you know, um, you know, at 35, how long can you do this for? You know what I mean? So basically, we, were, we thought that Marco Huck was going to be or B.J. Flores or one of them other guys, but they didn't want to step up to the plate. Um, and being that we were not ranked because Jason's long layoff, that he was not ranked, we were, you know, we were just going to work our way up slowly. When we beat Yaya McLean, John McLean, for the NABF title, the opportunity presented itself, and we took advantage of it. You know, it, it wasn't for the money; it was just for the the idea that we're fighting for the world title. It didn't matter where we fight, because we're you, you know, as a fighter, uh, if you're a world champion, that's what you do. You travel the world to become the world champion, and that's what this kid is doing. He's traveling the world to try to, you know, reach his dream, and this is uh, that's why we're here. It seems that during the fight against Diablo, you will be uh, not only a trainer, but also a catman. Is this true? Oh, absolutely. But I've been doing this all my career. We'll with, with, see. One of the things when you have kids that don't have promoters or managers and we don't have the big bucks behind you, so to speak, then I have to take over all facets. I was, Buddy McGregor was supposed to be here, but he, he ran into some difficulties and um, he, he's not here. So I'm going to make up a team because... The man that's going to be in the ring is going to be Diablo, is going to be this guy. No, I'm not going to step in the ring, and neither are Diablo's handlers. Those corner men that he's got, they can't do nothing for him. They can't fight for him. The only one that's going to be fighting is going to be Diablo and Jason. So um, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, unless they can in inject some Holy Spirit into them or something from the, something from the uh, supernatural, I don't know what they're going to do, anything special that can produce or make him do anything different to beat Jason Robinson. How long have uh, Jason been uh, training, been preparing f himself for, for, the, uh, for the bout? Well, we have been preparing for this. We found out about maybe 10 weeks ago, so we, but we never stopped training because we're in a precarious situation where we don't have the finances that other fighters have, the, the million-dollar fighters or the, you know, the so-called millionaire fighters. We don't have that luxury. We don't have uh, the luxury of bringing sparring partners in, paying for sparring. We traveled. We travel the whole states going looking for sparring. We try to spar with the best fighters out there. We spar with heavyweights, light heavyweights. We spar 
200 rounds a week if we have to. We do whatever it takes to get the job done because we don't turn no nothing down because when these opportunities come, we know that we got to, if we don't win, we don't get another payday. So with us, because nobody has been attracted to Jason because he's a southpaw, because, he's, because he was a kickboxer, and a lot of people in the boxing community, they don't believe that a kickboxer can make a, a transition into boxing. You, you understand? I mean, they tried that with Marek Petrovsky, and he wasn't successful as a, um, a boxer. But unfortunately, this, this opportunity presented itself, and we're going to take advantage of it and prove the critics wrong that maybe, yes, he can, and I believe he can. Do you, do you think that Jason, who is a uh, 35-year-old uh, year uh, um, fighter, if he, if he wants to win on Saturday, do you think that um, such, such a big chance will, will happen again in, in his career? Well, if he doesn't win, you know, I don't know. It's hard to say because, you know, somebody might give him another opportunity or they may not. But we're not going to wait to another opportunity. We're going to try to dethrone this kid, Diablo, right here, right now. We're not going to wait for another opportunity. I don't believe in second chances. I want to do it now.